and today we're planting bulbs in grass. That's actually the third installment in my tulip mini series. I planted in containers, I planted in the ground, so check those videos out. There's lots of useful info and inspiration for your gardens. Today I'm adding spring bulbs to my front lawn. So I chose varieties that will naturalize well, that means come back from year to year, to typically daffodils, crocuses, snowdrops, fritillarias are really good at this. So I'm going to be planting them there and we're going to have a gorgeous spring show. Let's get started. So those are the tool and bulbs that I'm going to be using today. A pair of gloves, of course, then a little trowel and a dipper, a bulb starter, and then the bulbs that I'll try to naturalize. So I have a selection of daffodils, just a mix, and some leftovers that wouldn't fit in other pots. I also have some bluebells that I've had for a while and got on sale. This is what the little cones look like. They go pointy side up also. And then some fritillarias. I'm really excited about those. The bulbs kind of look like crocuses. All those three varieties will want to naturalize. And those bulbs are also more suited for shady areas, which is what I have in the front lawn. This is the area that we want to plant in today, the front lawn. So you can see the grass it looks a bit yellow because I left it long during the summer. It was looking really, really beautiful. I hope I can find some footage to show you. And so I have the front flower bed here, a small section that's, that I'm going to keep more clear, more like traditional looking. And over here in this area, we're going to be planting the bulbs. This is actually a quite frequented walkway, so we're not going to be the only ones to be able to enjoy those. I also have a tub with a bit of compost if I need it. So now all I'm going to do is literally throw the bulbs so that they randomly fall on my grass and then plant them. Just going to make sure that they're spaced quite a bit because over time, of course, the bulbs will multiply and so we want to have enough space for them to create big, large clumps in a couple of years time. So let's do that. I think that little dipper would work really well for smaller bulbs. For something that's a bit larger like so, you may want to use a trowel. to the fritillarias. They're much smaller, so it'll be easier to plant with the dipper. Same process, scatter them randomly. If they fall too close together like this, just space them out a little bit more so that they have room to form a clump. And now for some bluebells. I've had this for a while, as you can see. There's quite a bit of rot on them. They go pointy side up. Let's see if we get some blooms. This is the front lawn.
we have a gorgeous hydrangea here that's past its prime but the blooms are still providing beautiful structure a eucalyptus and then that beautiful tub that we put together as part of the front garden revamp we had a couple of echinaceas that I've gone to seed I did harvest a couple of seeds and I have the camellias the lambs here has grown a lot I was not expecting that I think I need to cut it back just to keep it nice and tight and then we have the Japanese anemones and then over here another little pot our Reese is up really love how it turned out the gorgeous berries one more thing if it's the first time you're going to be planting spring bulbs check out my 12 things I wish I knew before planting tulips that will definitely be a good one to start with that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to show you what it looks like in the spring thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye